If you were expecting Quonset huts and double-wide trailers, think again. The new $500 million Naval Hospital looks like something out of the pages of Architectural Digest. The lobby is filled with stylish furniture, works of art, and lots of natural light. There's an atrium and even a Zen garden on one of the upper floors. Captain Mark Cobalia is commanding officer of the Naval Hospital. He says the design elements were chosen with a specific purpose in mind. For example, uh, we know that natural light definitely improves the um, pain scores and the overall well-being and, and speed of recovery for patients. Captain Cobalia says the military and civilian staff who work at the hospital benefit from the nice aesthetics too. And so all of this is combined to try and make the facility as healing and welcoming as possible. This hospital replaces one on the base. It was built nearly 40 years ago. The old facility isn't earthquake proof and it was designed to house more patients for more extended stays. The new hospital has fewer inpatient beds. Rear Admiral Forrest Faison is a pediatrician. He says hospital care is quite different today from what it was when he was in medical school. 85% of our surgical cases are done as outpatients, uh, whereas when I trained, they used to come in a day or two beforehand and stay for five or six days after the surgery. The new hospital has nine operating rooms. We are in the post-anesthesia care unit and this is the PACU or the recovery floor where most of the patients coming out of the operating room will recover. Lieutenant Commander Constance Beal explains the facility has a six bed intensive care unit too. But the biggest part of the hospital's business will be delivering babies. To that end, it has 10 labor and delivery rooms and a special care nursery. Officials estimate about 200 women will give birth on the base each month. Captain Ann Utes is the senior nurse executive. Today, um, the people in the military are um, married and uh, married at uh, more junior ranks than they were uh, historically back in the 70s. So, uh, yes, uh, so a lot of our junior families are uh, growing and expanding. Is your baby coming? The baby's coming! The baby's coming! The Naval Hospital will also serve as a major training facility for medical personnel who are headed out to the field. Staff train on everything from performing knee surgeries to caring for sick infants. Lieutenant Junior Grade Tabitha Shannon says it's all about giving people the hands-on experience they need. We provide all the advanced life support training for them, so we keep them up on their skills, not only when they're getting, you know, when they're getting ready to deploy, but to keep them ready and always um, you know, on standby for their, in case we're called for something. The Naval Hospital is built to serve 157,000 active duty and retired military personnel and their families. It will open for business in mid-December. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News.